Passenger vehicle sales in India saw a steep 84% drop in sales in May over last year, a staggered resumption of operations both at the factories and showrooms hampered business activity for all companies. It however came on the back of zero sales in April when the country was in a state of total lockdown. The situation however is only likely to get better as lockdown norms are further eased and domestic consumption steadily recovers. Sale of tractors, which were not impacted by the lockdown as they are allied activity with agriculture, saw nominal growth during the month. Azim Premji, founder, chairman, and Rishad Premji, chairman of Wipro, have both taken a voluntary cut in their compensation for the fiscal year 2020, according to the recent filing made to the Securities Exchange Commission. While Azim Premji has foregone the profit linked commission payable, Rishad Premji has foregone both the variable pay and the profit linked commission payable to him. Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport catered to a total of 391 flights including 196 departures and 195 arrivals in the first week of domestic flights resumption, informed Mumbai International Airport Limited. This involved 42,503 passengers including 31,665 flyers at departures and 10,838 at arrivals. Go Air has also resumed flight operations. Facebook Inc. and Snapchat developer Snap Inc. became the latest US companies condemning racial inequality in the US as violent protests flared up across major cities over the death of George Floyd, an unarmed black man who died while in police custody in Minneapolis last week. The two tech companies followed Intel Corporation, Netflix, Alphabet's Google, IBM and Nike Inc. in taking a public stance against Floyd's death. Known for feasting on all sorts of plants and standing crops, locust swarms have been sighted in parts of Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Gujarat over the last few days. Since May marks the end of Rabi harvest, it is unlikely to damage any major standing crops. However, horticulture crops such as fruits and vegetables are at risk of a washout in these states. Directorate General of Civil Aviation on Monday asked airlines to allot seats in such a manner that middle seats are kept vacant on planes to ensure physical distancing. DGCA's order came after the Supreme Court pulled up the aviation regulator and Air India for putting the lives of the flyers at risk by booking for middle seats as domestic flights resumed after two months of coronavirus-led national lockdown. DGCA added that in case the middle seat can't be kept vacant, the occupant must be provided extra protective equipment.